We are now. We have finished six out of ten. We have actually made a lot of progress. Wow. That's funny. We only have four more questions left. Let's pretend that we're we're just now starting the assignment. Wow, our assignment is only four questions? So easy. Stop. But yeah, we only have four more questions. And this one looks pretty easy, actually. So that was funny. So, 45. We're doing 45. We already did 44. 45 is just like not very many calculations. Number of baskets in one scored in one minute is a Poisson distribution with the mean of 1.5. What? Dude, why would the mean be... The mean is not even a whole number. 10 minute span. Okay. Easy. Easy. Wait. Oh, no, this is hard. If the rate per minute is lambda, the rate in T minutes is lambda times T. Um, okay. The rate in per minute is this. The rate in T minutes is lambda times T. So basically, distribution of numbers scored in 10 minutes, all you have to do is this times 10, right? They say that you do this times the number of minutes. So equals this times 10. So they're gonna score an average of 15 points Per, in every, every 10 minutes probability of in 10 minute span what's the probability that you're going to get what's the probability that you're going to get exactly 20 points it's going to be some like this 20 mean is 15 and it's false so that's the probability what's the probability you get at least 20 points Oh. <sighs> 20 or less. It says at most 20. 20 or less. What's probably the, they get 20 or less? That's what this means. At most 20. Not 20 or m at least 20. The question is asking you at most 20. They're asking you 20 or less. At most 20. What's the probability that they get 20 or less points? Not at least 20. It's probability of at most 20. 20 or less. I'm going to change this. Because it says at most 20, so that means 20 or less. So that's going to equal. So 20 minus 15. True. So it will be 20 or less. And it should be like more than 50%, right? Yeah. So, what's the probability that they get 20 or less? At most, 20. If not, see, at most, not at least, at most. It says at most, not at least. It says, what's the probability that they will score at most 20? 20 or less. That's what it says. So, that must be a mistake by them. 20 or less is this. Um... So, I mean, that was such an easy question. That took like five minutes. Literally less than five minutes. <laughs> Imagine if I get it wrong. But it's not wrong. I read it correctly. We're now done with seven out of ten. Thanks for signing out of my email. 
Thanks. Thanks. Come on. That's one. Stop taking five years. So we've now finished number 45. We now go to 46. That's fine. <laughs> Suppose times between arrivals at a bank are exponentially distributed. Oh, I have to look at how to do that. So what if it's exponential? distributions. Um, probability to the left of the value, to the left of a value can be calculated as the value does five. I feel like this is just the same as before, pretty much. They don't even give you examples. They're, they're just like. So they, all, they gave you the mean. If you just observed, what's well, probably you need to wait for more than a minute? Wait, so what are the things? Yeah, that's all you need. You don't even need anything else. It's very simple. Times between events. The exponential distribution measures the times between events, and the Poisson measures the number of events. The times is a mean of 45. What's the probability you will need to wait for more than a minute? Okay. The probability of less than a number is that. What's the probability that you'll have to be more than a number? It's pretty, it's, I mean, it's like, oh, great. Can't I just do, why do I have to do it in seconds, or in minutes? Why do I have to convert to minutes? Can't I convert the other two to, to seconds? Crap. 45 seconds divided by 60 is... I'm so confused. The lambda is that. That is lambda. What? That is lambda right there. It is 0.75 minutes.
I don't know what they want for these two. Forty-five seconds is. Yeah, but lambda, come on, the lambda is the mean. That's what it is. Never mind. The mean is equal to the reciprocal of the parameter lambda. Never mind. It's the mean is not what you use. You use the thingy. So reciprocal. So great. I wish there was a nice way to calculate the reciprocal of a number. What is the reciprocal of that? What is the reciprocal? What is 75 over 100? It's 100 over 75, right? The lambda is, no, the mean. No, they gave you the mean. This is the mean. You're using the mean. No, you're not because you're using lambda in your calculation, not the mean. You use lambda in your calculation, so you do need that. 45 seconds is 45 divided by 60 minutes. Lambda is equal to the reciprocal of this number. The reciprocal of 75 over 100 is 100 divided by 75, right? Probably wait more than one minute. What's probably of you have to, you have more than this number, more than this number. That means you do one minus, right? You do one minus the number. They didn't even tell you how to do that. They just assume, like, yeah, sure, it's basically the same as all your other stuff. Still, why didn't you're like, oh, you know what? Let's just not put that in here. It's, We've repeated that for all the other ones too many times. Hey, shut up. Why am, why am I telling the book to shut up? It didn't even talk. I was imitating it talking, and then I told myself, imitating it talking, to shut up. What's the problem? It's going to be more than one. The probability that it will be more than 0 0.5 is 1 minus this.
wait, the probability of having to wait at least two minutes. Yeah, I hate everything. Come on. <laughs> For this one. probability that you will be greater than a number is 1 minus yeah but what about probability of greater than or equal to the number oh come on what about greater than or equal to a number What about greater than or equal to a number? God dang it. What about greater than or equal to? <laughs> Come on. I hate everything. This is crap. They never ever use equal to. Never. Come on. Because, like, wait more than a minute, at least two, if not more. Like, aren't those the same? <sighs> the only difference is one, you have to have more than one, and one of them is...
Okay, so one of them is the opposite of less than one, which includes one. Doesn't it? And yet... Because look... It, there's no difference. Look, greater than one, they use the number one. Look, they're using the S. And, they're using S for every single one. There's some... I'm not even using normal distribution anyways. Okay, um, like greater than 73 and greater than or equal to like greater than like this value returns less than 73 this and then you do one minus that. Okay, it's going to be the same. It's just going to be the same. At least two means two or more. That's what it means. So it's basically the same thing. 1 minus x just 2 this true. Probably that you'll have to wait at least 2 minutes. Okay, so I sh should be good. I just hate everything. This wouldn't take so long if I had the instructional video. That's fine. Probability needs at least two minutes, probability of more than one minute. So I'm pretty sure we're good. So I think we're done with 40, what, 46? Dude. We're done with 46. Now we only have two more questions. Huh. 54 and 55. Oh, geez. They're mislabeled again. We're going to rename it to 54. Okay, annual return of a stock. I'm just making sure it's the it actually is 54 because could possibly be not. <sighs> annual return of a stock shows a normal distribution with a mean of 12% and a standard deviation of 30%. A probability it decreases during the year. B is probability that it's at least 20%. Prob C is between negative 6 and 9%. D is 5% chance of return. That will be greater than what value? And E, 1% that it will be less than what value? And F is 2.5. 5th percentile and 97.5th percentile. So yeah, I know what to do I think. This is like kind of a repeat of stuff I've done already. We're actually going to finish this today apparently. When did they even start? Is it like 2? 
one. I'm somehow doing all these questions without even having a video. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. 54. So, we have a mean of this. We have a standard deviation of this. What's the probability that the data value will decrease? Oh, dude, I don't know how to do that. What? What? How do you do that? Oh, come on. The probability Dude, what on earth? How do you do that? Why is that the hardest part of the question? It says Yes, I had to go do it in a random example and a random question to find that information. Thanks a lot. So unorganized. Why couldn't you just have that in the regular text? How was I supposed to know that I had to look for crucial information in an example? Also, there's no question where it's like probability of being le of probability of decreasing. It doesn't even say what it's at. What on earth? How do you do this? What's the problem that it'll just simply decrease? What? Decrease from where? What on earth? I guess, oh, I'm a stupid idiot. I'm an idiot. It's the probability that it's less than 0%. Oh, jeez. All right, well. What's the probability of having zero or less, right? What's the probability of having less than zero? <laughs> so, one. So, what's. We want probability of giving less than zero. So, zero. Point one two. Point three. Less than zero, 
mean of 12.12 probability that it will be at least this much so probability that it will be more than 20 percent equals 1 minus norm dot this point 0.2 mean is point 0.12 Point three, true. What's the probability it's going to be in between these two things? Equals norm dot dist. The higher one, higher one, the higher one is 0.9. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> oh, great. Now I have to check to make sure I didn't make the same mistake. This is 0 0.2, 0 0.12, 0 0.3. This is less than zero, so yeah. Hi the higher one is 0 0.09. Minus negative point zero six, negative point, negative point zero six, point one two, point three, true. So you know what's hilarious? I like the remix of this the best. I don't even like the two originals. Actually, no, I think I like the original original version the best. And I like this and or no, I like the remix. I don't remember I don't even remember what the remix sounds like. Um, but I think I liked the remix better. I don't remember. I don't even know which remix I'm thinking of. I just... whatever. For some reason I don't like this version. So... 90th percentile... Funny. You told me what to do. I'm just, just in preparation for the test. There's a 5% chance it'll be greater than what value? There's a 5% chance it'll be greater than this value. That means it's at the top of it. Obviously, it makes logical sense. So we're looking for 95th percentile. So equals norm dot INV. Probability 0.95 mean is 0.12 and 0.3 so there so there's there's a 5% chance it will return be greater than what there's a 5% chance the return will be greater than 61% and then there's a 90 there's a 1% chance it'll be less than what value? So first percent. Point zero one. Point one two. Point three. It will be, there's a 1% chance it'll be less than a negative point five eight. And or F, we have 95% chance it will be between which two values equidistant from the mean.
Okay, this is weird. Why on earth is it in between 2.5 and 97.5? What is half of 95%? is forty seven point five. That's where we're getting this from. Forty seven point five. So you do fifty minus forty seven point five and you get two point five and you need to do fifty plus forty seven point five and get ninety seven point five. So there. Point zero two five 0 0.12, 0 0.3. I've already had him. I already have memorized. Apparently, so equals 0 0.975, 0 0.12, 0 0.3. That's it. We're done. We're done. With, we only have one more question. We only have one more question. We have, we have done every question except for one. That was one. We only have one more. The next question is 55. They're even mislabeled. So funny. We want fifty five. Stop. We have A, B, and C. We, we um, there's a mean of one oh five thousand current and new current and standard deviation of that in California mean of 235 and standard deviation of 3400 the family's current house is value of 110,000 the new value is going to be 200,000 so yeah that was fun once we're done with that, we're done. Whoa, we're, we're gonna be done so fast, so fast. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, that was funny. That was. I mean, I thought today was gonna be the day of high scoring games. And now we have a bunch of games there in like seven to three. Nothing interesting is happening at all. Is they're just stuck at seven to three, seven to seven. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop.
what percentage of houses in the family's current city cost less than theirs? What percentage of them cost less than their house? So what percent is less than 110,000? So that's pretty simple. Wait, what? Yeah. So equals. So we want less than 110,000. The mean is 105,000. The standard deviation is 18,200. True. So less than. 110,000 mean of this, standard deviation of this, true. What if they buy a $200,000 house, what percentage of houses will cost less than their house? So again, we're doing less than 200,000 for the new one, so... So less than 200,000. You know what, instead of typing the numbers, why don't I just do this? The mean is this, this, no, their house less than 200,000, the mean, oh my gosh, the mean is this, standard deviation is this, true. Mean, less than this, mean of this, standard deviation of this. What percentage are less than that? What percentage are less than that? What price will they need to buy to be in the same percentile as they are in the current city? Really check. Um, so they need to end up in the 60, 60 point blah blah blah. Can I see the exact number? Because that would be nice. That's ah, fine. I, I don't need the exact. So basically, what I need to do is equals. So probability is equal to this. Mean. So like. So in the new city, their mean is this. The standard deviation is this. So they would need to end up in a $243,000 house there. And that's it. That's so easy. My God, that was easy. What? So easy. What? I finished all 10 questions. I can't believe. Now, the reason it was a little bit easier is because I did the unit project and that made the a little bit easier, but wow, huh? I did it. That was stop. Stop. I, I finished. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> I finished. Oh man, still hasn't posted the video, still hasn't posted it. Stop. Stop. But, um, I guess maybe I don't need the video? I mean, it'd still be nice to have the video. I think if she posts the video before the test, I'm going to double check all of my work to make sure I did it all correctly. Because I, I really need to know if I did that right for the test. But anyways, man, I did... <laughs> I did it like a million days late. A million days. But she already said there's no late penalty, so I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so tedious to submit this. Man, why can't I just drag and drop them into a 
into a submission thing. Like, come on. Man. It's gonna be so tedious. Like, first, I need to create my folder. Um, 2.2 problems. So, there's 10 here, so there it is, there it is, that's a lot of problems. So I am, I am much better prepared for my tests on Wednesday now. Um, let's see how long it takes me to submit all of these questions. Me. You know what I'm going to do? There's ten, so one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I wish I could just submit all of them at once. So eighteen, twenty six. Oh. I don't think I'm even going to check all of them. It would take so, way too long for me to check if I did that correctly. Um, there's way too many questions here. See, they're all different. 18, 26, 28, 33, 37, 44, 45, 46, 54, 55. That is a lot of questions. I did it way late. Way, way late. Because she still hasn't posted the video. <laughs> I was waiting and waiting and waiting for her to post the video. Now it's just like... Now I just have to do it because otherwise I'd have to do it on Monday night, which I don't want to do. <laughs> or Wednesday night, which would be very, very difficult to do considering that I also have to take a test on the same day. So, stop. Finally, we're finally caught up now. Finally, after all this time. I was basically behind on homework all the way up until today, and now I'm not behind on homework anymore. <laughs> Dude. So now I already submitted my project. See? Submitted that. And our exam apparently is on Wednesday. We'll see if she keeps it there. And then following Monday will be the next set of problems. So that was funny. Bye.